Hi, just a quick follow-up video to this uh, one hung low lead driver fl flishy flashy problem that I had. Um, no point putting this on the uh, main channel again. Uh, so I've got myself, I'll link those in down below if you haven't seen those videos. Anyway, I got myself uh, some new lead drivers because it just wasn't worth hacking these things. It, it, it's just silly. Anyway, uh, lots of, you know, almost 100% flicker or poor power factor, take your pick. And some people said, oh, I should just lower uh, the input cap value and stuff like that, and then you'll get better power factor, but it's still a power factor ripple, uh, and hence flicker, trade-off. Anyway, so I got myself some uh, some new ones. These are uh, flicker free versions. Does it say flicker free on here? Anyway, they are supposed to be. They're a Lifford uh, brand. I believe I've shown these before and have uh, used them before and they're nothing special but they are, a, you know, at least a, a reputable kind of brand Chinese one um, and they're pretty cheap. Got them from a local supplier. I got both a 700 milliamp and 500 milliamp uh, versions. Anyway, these are supposed to be flicker free. I do actually like uh, the way they've done these cable clamps here. Check this out. They've got the, the of course, the little uh, toothy thing there, which, um, that, which clamps into the insulation on the uh, wire, of course. And then they've got um, these little, uh, I don't know what you call those. Anyway, um, that slot in down the side. So when you push that in, it, it can't come back out and it clamps the cable in. I reckon that's a pretty neat sort of cable clamping mechanism for this sort of product. Anyway, uh, let's have a look inside these things. I was actually quite surprised. Definitely power turned off, yes. Uh, now, I was, I was expecting more because we saw the... Do I still have it? Uh, no, I think I put it back together. Anyway, watch the previous video if you haven't seen the difference between a cheap ass one like this with no uh, second stage output regulation at all and hence why it's getting all the uh, flicker I expected this one to be a two stage and have output regulation as well but you can see that on the secondary side here there's not much we've got an output cap and <laughs> on the bottom side is even less we've got ourselves some diodes there I don't have my other pointer. Um, anyway, we've got some diodes and that's it. There is no secondary side, second stage reg output, uh, constant current regulation here. Once again, it's done on the primary side and I won't be able to pull a part number off that little uh, six pin jobby, I'm sure. So I'm not sure which one that is. I won't even bother changing my macro lens because then I have to edit this damn thing and I don't want to do that. Anyway, um, so it's a very simplistic design, just like uh, this cheapy one here, but it's supposed to be flicker free and you know, it, it's supposed to be decent. Anyway, it does have better input uh, filter cap than before. It's a caps on, so yeah, well, what do you expect? It's a cheap price. Anyway, it does have 12 mics at 450 volts. Is that 100? That, that's 105. Oh yeah, okay. It's doing the business. Anyway, so it does have a decent amount of input capacitance there, so that's definitely going to help, but it's basically um, exactly the same topology. Uh, we've got the full wave bridge rectifier going directly across the filter cap, of course, that's why the cap's 450 volts. Um, and then we've got our, uh, no doubt, it's, you know, it's similar to the uh, chip that we, what was it, on bright or whatever. Uh, chip that we use here, but it could be another uh, manufacturer. Don't know if it's the same one, but it's a similar topology, but they're getting much better. Pa well, they're supposed to get much better power factor out of this and ripple flicker free. So let's try it. Let's power it up. Uh, all right, I've got my current clamp probe on there. Power it on. And let's have a look at the scope it dope. Here it is, still got the same 200 milliamp, or oh, 100 milliamp part per division. 100, 200, 300, 400, so we're just over 400 odd milliamps there. And look at it, NAFL Ripple. Very, very nice. And I can't see any flicker on the camera, on the uh, panel of this thing. And as for power factor, well, don't know if you can see that. I think you can. That is 0.94 power factor and that's at 
or near 30 watts. So that's pretty darn impressive for just this like, um, you know, single stage converter like this. So I'm, I'm quite surprised, but obviously it's a better chip. They've got more input capacitance. They're, they're doing some sort of right thing. I, oh, let me turn that off now. I really like the look of the, uh, a transformer doesn't that look like it's doing the business i know this is a well it's a little bit higher power than this one but look at that pokey little thing there look at this bobby dazzler ah it's a thing of beauty it's joy forever anyway um and the bigger uh look external switching trannies there so they're very very nice and they've got two of them so i'm not sure of the exact topology but it is a once again a still a primary side constant current regulation thing because there's no converter on the no constant current regulator on the second side so there you go that's you can it shows that you can do a decent low-ish cost it's not going to be as low a cost as this one they've really cut costs there but uh it shows that you can actually do it with a primary side only regulation that's great power factor anything over 0.95 is uh, pretty fine and that ripple is you know it's not zero but it's almost non-existent now for all practical purposes this thing is not going to flicker at all so that really is quite sweet that's the lifford one so if you want a, a trade-off of uh and uh, you know and uh, like once again decent size uh transformer the, uh, the switching transistors don't need any heat sink on them they are just flapping around in the breeze there but uh anyway if it, but these things aren't subject to vibration usually and you know, decent amount of input filtering, um, and it's got all the requisite and got common mode chokes on the input and everything else. Although I don't see a fuse. We've got an input. I've got a resistor there. But yeah, I don't see any. Is there any input fusing on that? That's a choke. Hmm. Anyway, might have been cutting corners there. But, uh,. Oh, anyone want to see the trannies? There you go. I can't read that on the camcorder screen, so knock yourself out there. But uh, for you switching transistor aficionados, there you go. But yeah, you know, this looks like a pretty decent trade-off uh, between uh, Ripple and cost. So I think these were like uh, like $8. No, what were they? Oh, I don't know. I can't remember. Anyway... Uh, you know, around about like uh, 10 bucks a pop or something. So really, or oh, just, just over, I think, 12 bucks a pop or something like that. Anyway, they are decent, um, it looks like fairly decent drivers doing primary side regulation only and getting away with it. So there you go. Let me know your thoughts in the comments uh, down below. And as always, give it a big thumbs up. Oh, and if you liked it, catch you next time.